Hello YouTube. Uh, this will be an introduction to my uh, unboxing of this fine knife. I've been uh, uploading uh, two videos uh, at the same time. There will be this unboxing and there will be a um, not a long time review but a uh, follow up on the uh, unboxing. I had some uh, trouble with my internet or my internet provider anyway and uh, I believe it to be uh, settled today. So with a little bit of luck I'll be uploading two videos uh, today. This being one of them. I want to show you uh, the knife I've been waiting for and for my American viewers I will al already now <laughs> apologize it is a uh, old timer, but it is one of the new old timers made in China. Uh, this means that I can afford it, <laughs> and this means uh, that uh, the quality uh, isn't what you would expect of, say, uh, a case knife. But more than that, on the f in the uh, follow-up video where I actually used the knife at work and here at home on the farm. So uh, without any further ado, the unboxing of the old time. And uh, be sure to watch the follow-up uh, where I tell you what I think of the knife after using the knife for a week or two. Uh, at work and here at home on the farm. Enjoy! So this is how the knife comes in the box, old timer. I took it out of the uh, bubble wrap because in the envelope was another knife, not for me but for one of my daughters and that one is supposed to be a surprise so I didn't want to show that one. I want to show you this one. Taylor Brands 80TB made in China. comes in a piece of brown paper and some paperwork. Uh, that's very, very, very small. Uh, it's a warranty, limited lifetime warranty. Oh, that's, whoa, that's a lot of reading. <laughs> uh, international customers, la la la. Well, looks promising. So there's a, a limited lifetime warranty on this one. Now, this isn't uh, wax paper, it's just brown paper. I guess to prevent it from rattling around. And here it is. The 8OTB, where the B stands for bone. Because as you see, this has not a Delrin handle scale, it has a genuine bone handle scale. Saw cut. Can you hear that? Oh, sorry. I really like the uh, the coloring, the nuances of this uh, this bone. Looks 
really nice. Um, what do you call that color? It's uh, sort of amber, oak, somewhere between amber and oak, a bit reddish. And because it's a natural material, there are differences from the corners. It looks, it looks really, really nice. I think I'm really um, it's a positive su surprise. Good surprise how nice this actually looks in real life. Um, yes, on to uh, the springs. Two back springs with a nice brass separators or liners. Three blades, as this is a Stockman. Here's my small Stockman. See, this is a bit larger. This, for my size nine hands, is a four finger full size. Stockman knife. Um, the three blades don't touch each other or the breast liners. There's air on both sides of the blades. You can see how, especially the sheep's foot blade, has been bent so that it fits snugly in between the two others. Nice grooved bolsters, press pins. The, uh, the pin that holds the springs, back springs, stands a bit proud, but they're not rough. They just stand a bit proud. The blades, oh, very, very polished. One second. That will attract fingerprints quickly. A very nice uh, match strike. Nail groove. I like those. Looks nice. The ship's foot. A bit oily. Guess that's a good thing. And the main clip point blade. It's not the it's not that it's difficult to grab or that the Back spring is too strong. I simply uh, broke my nail earlier today, so I'm a, I'm a bit. <laughs> um, I just have to get used to my new thumbnail until it grows back. This has the uh, uh, very long nail pull with the match strike pattern. <laughs> this really does attract fingerprints. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to be a user. I just want to show you before I scratch it all up. Very nice. I really like that shape. Um, feel sharp. Let's see what we got here. Uh, an old bill. Let's cut that up. Hmm. It's it's a bit toothy, but it's uh, actually it's surprising, surprisingly sharp. What about the others? The sheep foot sheep foot blade. Uh, normally it's the blade that I'll be using the most.
There's a tooth right here. There, I could feel it with my fingernail. Yes, somewhere around the middle. Oh, sorry. That, that is not bad. What about the uh, spay blade? The spay blade, I have found out, um, I, uh, I sharpen it with a very shallow uh, angle. So it's a fragile, I make a fragile but very, 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 very sharp edge, like a scalpel, and use, this, uh, use it as, as, as such. Let's see how that cuts. Whoa, that's. That is very, very sharp. Enough of that. Well, so far I am very, very pleased with this. Very pleased. Uh, I'll just give you a comparison. This is a Victorian Arts Tinker. It's the same thing as the Spartan, it just has the uh, Phillips driver instead of the uh, uh, screw. No, what's it called? Corkscrew, and they are about the same ish. That's a bolster difference. Let's pull out the blades. Oh, shiny! Very shiny. Like this. So it's a it's a bit small. Uh, the tinker is a. Oh, sorry about that. Small hiccup. As I was saying, uh, as you can see, the stockman is a bit larger than your average Victorinox tinker, and I think it's a very fine size for a working knife. The uh, I've been looking into the uh, blade steel used on these. <clears throat> and uh, well, uh, straight themselves uh, or Taylor brands themselves say it's a uh, 440C. Uh, many of the retailers uh, say it's a HCR 13 MOV steel, uh, which is uh, the Chinese version of a 440C. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter if the hardening and tempering of the blades is done right. Uh, but that will... Uh, time will tell if that has been done right. So, until I have uh, used this knife for a while and can give you some feedback on that, I'll just uh, leave it at that and say that... Uh, from the looks of it, I am very happy with my new knife, my new uh, old-timer 8OTB Stockman knife.